What's going on? My name is Anastasio Dalde. This is SDG Labs, and I'm a lot less smarter than I'm going to try to convince you that I am. Points A, B, and C on the graph that satisfy x squared minus 2. Okay. So if you look at the graph, let's see, it goes up to 1, 2. I would say that it, it crosses at this point, it crosses at this point, and I also think that it crosses at negative three comma one, two, three. How high does that go? Five, six, seven, like seven up here. So this is, the point over here is uh, three comma seven, actually negative three comma seven. And it also crosses at positive three comma seven, so some point out here. I'm drawing this way out here because, well, all right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, here's what we got. So the points that they listed was check this point, this point, this point, and that point, and see if it corresponds. Actually, they said check all the points, and they gave you like umpteen million points. So why don't I just do, I don't know, uh, I'll do this point over here, I'll do this point over here, which is two comma two. And I'll do another point over, I don't know, let's just say, negative three comma, actually, you know what, why don't I use one of theirs? How's about five comma six? Five comma negative six. One, two, three, four, five comma negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so here's what the problem's asking me, is confirm whether or not these points land on the graph. And I'm gonna do it graphically. And I'm also gonna do it mathematically. Um, so, I know that this point lands on this graph just by looking at the graph, but I can check my work. By the way, the equation for this function is f of x equals x squared minus 2. All I got to do is I got to plug in this x into here and see if it equals that y. So I plug in y over here. We're doing the same thing that we were doing for the linear functions. We're just doing them with squares this time. So let's see. If I'm checking this point right here, I'll have 7 is equal to uh, negative three squared minus two. Actually, I can't say it's completely equal to, what I probably should say is seven question mark equal, which kind of indicates to me is I'm asking, is it equal to negative three, three squared plus two? Negative three squared, or minus two. Negative three squared is positive nine, so I have seven is equal to nine minus two. Is that true? Seven. Is it equal to 9 minus 2? Absolutely true. I'm going to get rid of that question mark and say, true that. Do you see how I solved it graphically? Because to me, it looked like the point negative 3 comma 7. And I've confirmed it mathematically because I plugged in negative 3 and 7 into here and I got my answer. I'm happy with that. All right, let's try another one. How's about 2 comma 2? I'm going to plug in two, I'm going to plug in this two over here, and I'm going to plug in this two over here. So I have two is equal to two squared, which is four minus two. Is that true? Yes, that's true as well. This one works. Let's plug in something that isn't true. How's about, this is three comma negative six. Does three comma negative six, does this point land on that graph? Absolutely not. You can obviously see it's not even close. The math should confirm that. If I plug in negative 6 for the f of x and I plug in 3 for the x, I'll have negative 6 equals 3 squared, which is 9, minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. Is negative 6 equal to 7? No. This point doesn't work, as you can tell by looking at this graph and saying, oh, obviously, it's not even close. Shoots, bro, up out.